fish on, fish on. You gotta let them eat it. Ha <laughs> ha, fish on. Today, I'm gonna show you two of the top soft plastic baits for catching redfish, speckled trout, and flounder. Stay tuned and let's go see what we can catch. Now I know what you're thinking, you're saying, Ron, you throw that DOA Cal Figgy Chicks at the fish and at us all the time. That is one of the top soft plastic baits that you can fish with out in the marsh. But today I'm also gonna introduce you to another one. This one is a recent addition to the line of soft plastics I keep. It's the H&H &H Lure Salty Tail Grub in the pumpkin pepper color with a chartreuse tail. Try to say that five times fast, but essentially, why do I need this if I have the DOA Cal Figgy Chicks? Well, the DOA Cal Figgy Chicks paddle tail has a different action than this curly tail. And so for this bait, I need to retrieve it slow. Whereas the DOA Cal Figgy Chicks, I retrieve a lot faster. But by retrieving it slow, the way this tail kicks, it attracts more flounder than perhaps the paddle tail. So today I hope to show you that. Let's put it in the water and see what it'll put in the boat. Some action over there. Oops. Fish on, guys, fish on, fish on, fish on. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got our first fish of the day. He's hooked, that's for sure. I set the hook good on him and he's bringing us on a little bit of a sleigh ride, so. Oh yeah, he's running. This has gotta be a redfish. Gotta be a redfish. He ain't going anywhere, buddy. Let's see, or a nice trout maybe. Look at this guy run. Who is it? Oh, this is a sea trout. Nice speckled trout here. Come on up here. Let's see if we can get you in. Oh yeah, big speckled trout. This might be a gator trout. Nice trout feeding, huh? Got the grub. Oh, I, I hooked him too. He was playing with it and I foul hooked him. <laughs> well, he was definitely playing with it. And then he got it. This guy's going home. He's a great trout. There we go, guys. He bit at it, missed it. I felt him bite, set the hook. All right, well, what do you know? There's a nice trout, sea trout. I call them speckled trout. There's, some people call them sea trout. Let me show this guy to you. We're gonna put him on the board, definitely. Grunting, so he's a male. Nice yellow mouth, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, I ripped him up. He's definitely going home anyway. There you go. Let me get this hook out of you now. Ripped your gut open. Yeah, I know. All right, guys. Well, we got our first fish. It's a good one, too. There we go. Grunting at us. Many people don't know these fish are also in the drum family, so... Look at that, nice trout. Gotta be 20. We can keep them, we just changed it. I think it's 15 to 19, but you can keep one over 19. And the way I ripped this guy's belly open, he probably survived, but I'm gonna keep the one over 19 if he is. So let's see how we did on this guy. Pretty juicy and meaty. Oh yeah, he is 19 and pinch tail, 19 and a half, 19 and a quarter inch sea trout. He'll be our one oversize, and then we'll try to catch another one too. So first fish, 19 and a quarter inch speckled trout in the boat. And what did we catch him on? We caught him on our new curly tail grub. It's one of the top soft plastic baits. I'll prove that to you over the day. Oh guys, we're over 
top of a manatee somewhere around here. He was snorting at me. There's one over there. There's probably another one over here too. So you just saw me catch that 19 and a quarter inch uh, speckled trout on this H&H &H grub curly tail. I cast it out and I just pick it up and let it fall. Pick it up, let it fall. Retrieve it in a little bit. I'm just reeling in the slack. And part of the reason is we're letting the conditions tell us how to fish. And you see there's no water movement. However, this is after a rainstorm and it's supposed to be low tide right now. So it switched things up because there's so much water, that rainstorm left so much water here that these fish are probably gonna be a little confused and they're gonna take advantage of the high water conditions and try to feed and we're gonna take advantage of that. So stay tuned, I'm gonna keep fishing this and the DOA Cal Figgy Chicks, two of the top soft plastic baits you can fish. Let's keep going and see what else we can catch. Fish on guys, fish on. Oh, I had him. Oh man, had him. I don't know what that was either. Oh, came out of the water and spit the hook. Oh. The other thing about this bait is sometimes the fish will hit it on the drop. In fact, a lot of times they'll hit it on the drop. So you kind of Got to keep the slack out of your line, but let it fall. Still let it fall. So while it's falling, I try to retrieve just a little bit of the slack to be ready for the hook set. One other thing about rigging these uh, grubs, it's a little trick. You want to put the hook coming out where the tail comes down. And that way, if you rig it that way as opposed to the opposite way, this tail, if you do it the opposite way, will get caught on the hook a lot. The way it's uh, pointing down and the hook is pointing up, the tail won't get caught on the hook as much that way. So when you rig these, just rig them with the hook coming out the top and make sure the tail's hanging down and you'll have the best time with it. Oh, something moving in that direction. There it is. Way over there. Though. Oops, had a tap, guys. Had a tap. Oh, he went after it. He got it. Fish on. Fish on. But you know what it is? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I got him too. All right. This is a poor man's tarpon, and he finally spit the hook on me, which I really like. Also known as a ladyfish. So we count that as being caught, but we don't want those in the boat. They just slime stuff up. So there you go. The grub has done well today. It's put a nice 19 and a quarter inch speckled trout in the boat. Also hooked into what looked like to be a redfish we pulled out of the water, as well as a poor man's tarpon, a ladyfish. So we're going to throw the DOA cow for a little bit. See if anything will eat this. Yeah, this current is really flowing through here. Nice. Whoops. Oh boy, he took it and I... Fish on, guys. Fish on. <laughs> Whatever that was, I don't even know. It was probably a ladyfish. He took it and then he let it go. I thought I set the hook on him. <laughs> that was funny. That had to be probably a ladyfish, as acrobatic as that was. He flipped all the way over my head. I couldn't see him. Oh, well. Fish on, fish on, fish on, DOA cow. 
Figgy Chicks delivers. Let's see what we got. He's fighting too. Fish. Oh, come on. What is going on with my hook? Maybe it's my hook. I don't know. I had him. He's just a soft mouth. The hook looks good. Angle looks right. Oh, he wiggled his way free. Guess that happens from time to time. Not sure why, but he didn't look all that big, but oh, fish on, fish on. What do you know? This is a speck. This is a speckled trout and he's pretty big. Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of glad he's trying to shake us off too but I got him on the hook set I'm pretty sure look at this. these specks are out today let's get this one in the boat we hopefully he's not over slot because we already got our oh man he is not giving it up you guys this he's bigger than the last one I think we're gonna have to let him go probably don't go don't get over oh he's in the yeah, you got yourself in the seaweed now. There we go. Look at this giant. Oh my goodness. What a speck. What a speckled trout. Wow. But this guy, he's got to go back. I'm sure he's over. We got a good hook set on him. Look at this guy. Yeah, right through the top of the nose. Yeah, we had you hooked. You weren't going anywhere, buddy. Look at this guy, guys. That is a trout. We just need to measure him. I'm going to try to do so without getting him on the fish grips because I know he's got to be over. Let's see here. Now don't go jumping on me. Oh yeah, he's 21. 21 inch thick, fat, speckled trout. So he's going to go home and get you back revived a little bit. Give me your tail there. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> He's definitely in good shape. Whew. Guys, what a nice speckled trout. 21 inch, we got a 19 and a quarter inch. One on the curly tail grub. The other one on the DOA Cal Figgy Chicks paddle tail. Two of the top soft plastics you can fish in the marsh. That guy bit on that one. The DOA Cal Figgy Chicks Paddle Tail. And the first one that's in the box, he, he hit our curly tail grub from H&H. &H. Fish on, fish on. You gotta let them eat it. Ha <laughs> ha, fish on. I have no idea what it is, but it's big. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah. Oh, did he let it go? Oh, he let it go. Ugh. Oh, he stripped it too. Man, he just, he had only a little bit of the hook in him. Oh, I bet that was a flounder. Man. Well, that's one reason why I bought these, uh, curly tail grubs because I knew that they would do pretty well in low water 
no current conditions. So we're gonna keep trying this one. Man, that was a great, oh. He took some drag. I don't know what it was. Well, today it might be a little tricky to catch flounder because the current's not moving as much. In fact, it's really technically low tide, although it rains so much that the water level is probably higher than it was at high tide. And so that's why I thought this might be a great time to get out here as the sun's coming out and try to get these fish to bite. So we're gonna do that, but we need moving current, especially for all three of these fish, but especially for the flounder. They tend to park out on the bottom, bury themselves in the sand, and then as fish come by, that's when they grab them. So uh, the redfish and the sea trout, the speckled trout, uh, they can move around a lot more. The flounder do too, but just not as much. They're lazy, if you know what I mean. Fish on, guys, fish on. He was playing with it. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta be a redfish. He was playing with it. I felt him playing with it and I let him take it to the left and then I set the hook. Oh yeah, he's pulling some drag, oh yeah. Oh yeah. On a sleigh ride, but ha <laughs> ha, fish on. Did we get the redfish we're looking for? It's either a redfish or a flounder because he ain't coming up. Just saw that line move just a little bit and he was playing with it. Let's see, we're about to see him. Oh, it's a red. Nice red, probably a keeper. We'll see. Let's see if we can get him up here. Nice little red. Oh yeah, it's a good red. I think, I think. Let's see. Underneath the boat here, should be good. Curly tail grub, just jigging it. Here we go. Good little red, probably 18, 19. Right in the keep size. Oh yeah, he's good fish. Good fish, all right. Probably not letting you go, but, but just in case. Awesome, nice red. Thank you for biting my little curly tail grub, buddy. Appreciate that. Here's our red. <clears throat> Got a little life left in him. There you go. Nice little red fish. It's gonna be a long one. It's pretty long. Right in the corner of the mouth. That's where that curly tail grub is. Right in the corner of his mouth. All right, we're gonna see if we can keep him or not. 18 to 27 is the keep size. We can keep one redfish, 18 to 27, in Volusia County where we are. And I'm sure he's gonna make it lengthwise. Yeah, lay down there. He is 22. <laughs> A lot longer than I thought, 22. Good keeper, we're gonna keep him. I'll get him ready, as long as he don't get off my fish grips. Get my grub out of his mouth, and I'll pull you guys back in. So far, caught a couple of specks, a ladyfish. Thought we had a flounder on, and now we've got our keeper red, so we're doing good. Oh yeah, great hook set on you there, buddy. You fell victim to the curly tail H and H grub, pumpkin pepper chartreuse. Okay guys, you've seen me catch two of our keepers, a uh, nice uh, 19, I believe it was 19 and three quarter inch speckled trout, and now a, a 21 inch redfish. Those are going home with me. Both were caught on the H and H curly tail, salty curly tail grub. It's in the pumpkin pepper color with the chartreuse tail. I'll link that lure down below so that you know the exact one. I think it's number 24 or something like that, but I'll, I'll put it in the description below. You also saw me catch a nice speckled trout, even nicer than the one we kept, over 20 inches. That one was uh, 
caught on the DOA Cal Figgy Chicks. Both are the top soft plastic baits that you can use out in your marsh. Get some. Both are linked in the description. Use them, you won't be disappointed. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, fish on. There's gotta be a decent sized trout or something. Oh. Let's see here, wherever he is, might be a flounder. He's staying down, he's trying to suction. And he's trying to run. Oh no, it's a, what is this thing? Jack Cavell? Little Jack. It ain't that little. It ain't that little, it's a Jack though. There he is, a pretty big Jack. All right, here we go. All right guys, well, another fish in the boat at least. Our jack. This little jack for there. There you go, buddy. Thank you very much for watching. Click on one of these two videos off to the side or that subscription button down there, and you'll be informed every time when I post more content, and you'll see all the catches, tips, and tricks right here on YouTube. I'll see you in a few days.